Oh yeah, most definitely. Obviously a game that, uh, you know, when you have a 14 point lead with 14 minutes to go, you're very disappointed when you don't come out with the win. Uh, you know, I thought Northridge did a lot of good things. I thought we made a couple critical mistakes and that game turned on us and, and uh, you know, it came down the wire and they made a few more plays than we did. It seemed like uh, the defense that had been so strong uh, in the last couple games uh, gave up, I think, 12 percent shooting. Yeah, it was obviously the uh, obviously the difference in the game because we, uh, we took care of the ball very well. Uh, we didn't turn it over, uh, obviously, and, and, and we did a good job rebounding the basketball. But uh, defensively, they were able to drive us quite a bit and get us into some rotational things. And, and um, you know, very simply put, our defense didn't get the stops when they needed to. Uh, is that one of the things we'll be working on today, obviously? Oh, yeah. You know, I, when you're in the prep mode a little bit, you know, there's not a whole lot of time when you're trying to get your guys ready to go. And, you know, it was a 5 a.m. wake-up call on, on Friday morning and a, and a long travel day to get back here after 2 o'clock and, and, and then, you know, get them ready today. So we gave them yesterday off and, and you know, we basically just went through Portland stuff today and, and, and prepared for the game to, tomorrow. And, you know, the hard part in this profession is when you have to travel is you got to keep your guys rested. And that's what, obviously what I was trying to do. Um, and you got a big, big game. Uh coming up tomorrow. Oh, it's a huge game. I mean, first time in 50 years, uh, ranked teams come uh, to University of Idaho. It's a, it's a game that we should be, should be and will be ready to play. And um, it, it should be fun. Uh, they're a very, very good basketball team. As, as good a solid as basketball team as we will see all year, uh, including the, the good teams in our league. And uh, it, it, they're a good team. They beat a lot of good opponents. They're a veteran club. It'll be a heck of a game. What I noticed about them in, in watching their game is that they like to take a sh take shots, and they also they make their shots. Oh, they make, they're a great shooting team. Uh, they're I think they're leading the country in uh, three point field goal percentage. But what people they can really score their ball. But what people uh, don't really realize about them is they hold their opponents under forty percent from two point field goal percentage, and they hold their three point their three point field goal percentage even just twenty six percent. So they're very good defensively, and they do that a lot with their size and their change in their defenses. And so offensively, you got to be on it. Uh, you've got to be able to to adjust to their different defenses all night long. What are you guys gonna have to do to uh, get the win tomorrow night? Well we gotta we gotta do what we always do. I mean we gotta do what we always do better and, and what they what they do and, and obviously that is run. We gotta get the game in transition. Uh, we gotta score our points in transition and then and then when we get the game in the half court we gotta defend them a lot better than we did on, on Thursday night. And we gotta rebound our basketball because they're big, strong and physical. So it's gonna be a heck of an outing um, on, on Sunday afternoon. I know one that our players look forward to, one that I look forward to and, and hopefully one that the fans look forward to. How big of a game uh, is this in terms of looking at down the road at, at postseason opportunities if you can go in not only in terms of just bids, but in terms of seeding and whatnot, if you can say you beat a top 25. Well, I think it's good. I mean, I, I mean, it's big. Uh, they're a home big. I mean, you, you know, you don't get a lot of chances to play ranked teams here. And so, and especially a ranked team at home, uh, maybe on the road. We got a ch couple chances last year, but on the road's a, a, a whole different deal. So, so I think it's big in the, in the overall seeding of things. Uh, but all games are big, you know, uh, with the way the, the preseason works, wins and losses, uh, losses can't pile up on you. You've got no chance for an at-large large bid. And so it, it's a big game. And uh, it also goes through sort of the street thing. You, you have two losses, but you haven't lost two in a row yet. Yeah, well, let's hope we keep that going. That's kind of one of our goals, and hopefully we can keep that going uh, not only uh, for this game but all year long. And uh, playing this game uh, in the gym here, uh, a historic venue, and uh, it's been a, a pretty good home court for us so yeah, far. Yeah, it really has been, and I think that we'll have a good crowd tomorrow. It should be a good court. It should be hard for them to play. So we're looking forward to, to getting out there tomorrow and getting after them.